Adam, you need to go do your costume change like right quick, cause like and get over here, cause we're we need to we need to get these this bar situation going. Yeah, oh, you Adam, need... I'm really oh. I'm really thirsty. I need a refill, Adam. Okay, then uh, okay. give me just a minute. I'll, I'll be you. right over. Okay, head to the I'll bar right now. Okay, everyone, refresh your drink, but also get tips from Adam. Meet him at the bar. Cheers. Yeah, okay, we're gonna check in. We're gonna check in at the at the flamingo, the floppy flamingo bar. Oh, I think we're start. I think we're starting it. The floppy flamingo bar. Was it starting? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. Hey, thanks guys. I'm just finishing <laughs> up these best picture themed cocktails. Didn't candles look fabulous? She has the cheekbones of a goddess. <laughs> and the face and glamour of Marilyn Manson. Just <laughs> gorgeous. Yeah. We want to thank you for tuning in. You could be watching anything else in the world, but you're here with us, which means that you've lost the remote. Okay, you've lost your remote. Now, let's get to the cocktail, shall we? Yes. <laughs> First, we have Minari Sour. Ooh. Minari is about a Korean-American family that moves to Arkansas <laughs> in search of their own American dream. This movie actually stars my boyfriend, Steven Yeun. He doesn't really like to make our relationship public with, with his blossoming career and all, which I totally get. It doesn't hurt or anything. I also need to say how great of a job DJ Daddy Joel is doing. Joel, I don't know how you do it, but you make the job look just as hard as it is. <laughs> Joel is a Tom Brady of IT. You know, he's always got his balls in the air. But hey, thank God you're doing it though, Joel, because I am so bad at tech stuff, I, I could never be in IT. I was in Ichi though, you know, I was uh, the stand-in for the alien, <laughs> because I was a really ugly baby. I still have the basket. Anyway, speaking of being bloated and incontinent, <laughs> here we have the Mankarita. The Mank is about the alcoholic screenwriter Herman J. Mankiewicz as he races to finish Citizen Kane. To give you the full blackout experience, the secret ingredient is reasons. I hope you didn't drive. Next up, we have the Nomad Hatton Land. Nomadland stars one of this year's new fresh faces, Francis McDormand. In honor of good sportsmanship and to give these blossoming actors the spotlight they deserve, I decided not to accept any nominations. You can thank me later, Hollywood. This film is about a woman who loses everything in the Great Recession and lives as a van-dwelling nomad, or as me and my friends call it, Burning Man. People that have been to Burning Man love to say that they've been to Burning Man, almost as much as Jay loves to pop up in every single video I try to watch before bed. Ah! Is Jay here with us, by the way? Did, did Jay come yet? Oh. Uh, you know, sex is something we definitely don't talk about enough, and that's why our next cocktail comes in. Promising Young Whiskey Ginger. Promising Young Woman stars Carrie Mulligan, who is living a secret double life by night. This film is great. It reminds me of that old phrase, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. I think that's the one, right? Ah, but asking for forgiveness is tough, you know, especially if you're deaf. That brings us to our next cocktail. <laughs> the Sound of Melon Ball. The Sound of Metal is about a heavy metal drummer whose life is thrown into free fall when he begins to lose his hearing. So basically, this is the story of any drummer in any heavy metal band anywhere. Speaking of tone deaf performers, let's take a second to thank Cody for taking care of the votes this year and using his pandering skills to put our money up for charity. And don't you worry, there's no chance of money laundering or voter fraud with this guy. His middle name is Domingo. <laughs> All this legality stuff reminds me of our next cocktail. The Trial of the Chicago 7 and 7. The Trial of the Chicago 7 is about the 1969 trial of seven defendants charged by the federal government with conspiracy and more. I just kept wondering when Sasha Baron Cohen was going to come out in a mankini. Our next cocktail also deals with the law. Here we have Judas and the Fuzzy Navel. Judas and the Black Messiah is about William O'Neill, who was offered a plea deal by the FBI to infiltrate the Black Panther Party. And just like William in the film, this cocktail really sneaks up on me. Our final cocktail is the Father Teeny. The father is about a mischievous 80-year-old man who rejects his daughter to live defiantly alone. 
This film stars Anthony Hopkins, and this cocktail, oddly enough, pairs very well with a nice Chianti and fava beans. Doesn't the father sound like a movie about a priest? Well, be warned, this cocktail could really seduce you to take your robe off and confess your sins. As you can see, all our movies this year deal with topics ranging from rape, to dementia, to homelessness, and I really like how this year's slate of films is bucking the trend of predictably depressing stories in favor of feel-good, light-hearted comedies. <laughs> well, those are our cock films. Uh, sorry, cocktails. Cock films is a totally different award show. Well, <laughs> back to you, Candles. Ah, 